Okay, this, this is a cool job. So sometimes we have a nest takeover. Now, sometimes it's squirrels that move in when there's a bird's nest, like up in a corner like that right there on a house. Birds will find their way in, have their nest, and then squirrels will move in or raccoons will move in. They'll eat the bird, they'll eat the eggs, and they'll use the nesting area uh, for, their own, for their own use. However, sometimes, and it's rare, and I'm glad I caught this one, we've got a takeover from a squirrel to a raccoon as in like the raccoon is taking over the squirrel's home. And uh, not only did it take over the squirrel's home, but I have good mind to think that the raccoon actually ate the squirrel. So that is a squirrel skeleton in the eaves trough right here where the raccoon has gone in. Let me turn this camera on. Today we're going to talk about the importance of hiring the right company. There's a lot of wildlife removal companies out there. However, they're, as far as I'm concerned, or as far as my knowledge is, I'm the only guy that does roofing as well. So the reason why this is important is because on this particular roof right here, okay, there's no attic entrance. So we've got our one way trap door right here, right here. This is where the, the raccoon went inside. Now, she's got her babies right about here. Thing is, is it's such a tight spot that I can't get my arm all the way over here to get the babies. Now, traditionally, what we would do is we would actually go inside the house, okay? And I can actually hear the babies in the ceiling or right above the ceiling in the corner. And so traditionally what we would do is we would then cut a hole in the wall or in the ceiling and we'd pull the babies out that way. However, that leaves you with uh, the task of now hiring someone to uh, fix the drywall, paint your ceiling, paint your wall, more repairs. Why would I want you to have to pay somebody else after I'm gone? So the key to being a roofer is also knowing how to do shingles. So what we're gonna do like a surgeon I am going to remove a patch of shingles here. I'm going to cut a hole in the plywood. I'm going to reach in and take my babies out. And then I'm going to put the plywood back on and I'm going to put the shingles all back on as if nothing ever happened. Let's get to work. So we have removed a panel of shingling and we've got, look at that, plywood. So as always, even roofers that don't know how to roof because no ice and water shield on the first three feet and they haven't wrapped the, sh wrapped the roof first before putting the shingles on. So now, however, if they did the roof properly, it would have made my work a whole lot more difficult. So I'm actually thankful that uh, these guys don't do roofs properly. Let's get a hole and let's find some babies. Okay. So we have cut our hole and now let's look inside little babies hey guys hey wakey wakey hey buddy hey go these are smaller ones oh careful ah uh, they're about uh maybe about a week and a half two weeks old mm. yeah let's go put you in there and let's go get your brother or sister there we go. hey buddy it's time to go There you go. Hey, buddy. It's time to go. So we've got a boy and a girl. 
we go, let's fix the roof. All right, so we've put the plywood back on, reinforced with the two by four underneath. And now we're gonna put the shingles back. Okay, <clears throat> so we've put the shingles back on and yes, you do see some, uh, some sealant there. So I did have to face nail the shingles so that I can make sure they were uh, secured down to the roof. However, there won't be any leaks because I have put the, uh, the sealant on there. We use a thermal plastic roof sealant on all of our face nails or screws. Uh, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change this vent that she's chewed apart and gone inside. So we're gonna take this off. We're gonna put a new vent and a new cage. So she can't get back in in the future. Then we're gonna get these babies off to mom. Stay tuned. Protected bay. So we have removed the trap door, put a new vent on, we've sealed all these vents up. And now it's time to get down. <laughs> 